Hey, Smeggies. As you can see from the title, this video is 25 Facts About Me. Number one. And I just remembered I need to go and fetch some stuff. I once saved a boy's life. I was 12 years old at the time and we were staying in a place in Wales. It was a camping caravan site. And obviously it was in the height of the summer because I was in a swimming pool. And it was full of adults, me and an eight year old boy. So there I were, just minding my own business, just doing something like this. I'm not really sure what I was doing. When I could hear, <laughs> help, <laughs> help, behind me. So I turned around to see what was happening. And there was this eight year old boy, unable to swim. And he went under. Now the thing is, at school I learnt a lot of life saving techniques. Of course, it doesn't matter, all of that just went <laughs> Instinct took over. So what I did after he went under, is I dived under him, swam under him and got his legs onto my shoulders, and then I swam up. Except he went out of the water, I did not. But I went furiously towards the end of the pool. Oh, I'm getting close. By which time everybody had noticed what was happening, including the boy's father, who ran to the edge of the pool, and as I got there, he grabbed him, pulled him out, and then I was able to come up for air. And all around me all these adults were clapping away and the father was thanking me. Of course the story doesn't end there. A few days later when we were leaving I was in the back of the car with my brother. And while we were sat there in the car my father had to take the caravan keys back to the main office. And that's when my brother decided to tell my mother I saved the boy's life. And so I had to tell her the whole story. I can't really remember what happened after that but a few weeks later as was the tradition with our family that we went to my grandparents house every Sunday this one particular Sunday my grandmother was a bit ill so she was upstairs in bed and one by one the entire family went up there except for me I was told to stay downstairs I was like what have I done now because you know I was a naughty child in front of the entire family my grandmother presented me with this yes I know it says first on it but it also says that I'm waiting for you to read it. Oh, that was a long fact. Let's go on to number two. I only brush my teeth once a day, but look, I still have perfect teeth. It's a myth that you've got to do it twice a day. Don't listen to your parents. I'm joking, don't listen to me. Because of fact number three. I haven't been to a dentist since I was 16. True story. That's 22 years ago. Fact number four. My guilty pleasure is Danny Minogue music. These are the originals, I do have some on CD. Fact number five. I've only ever broken one bone, my foot. I was 14 at the time, so I had six glorious weeks off school. Number six, I see the number 42 everywhere. Just check out these pictures. Here, here, here. This has been going on since 1999. Fact number seven, I've been seeing this number everywhere as well. Check out these pictures. Yep, here, there. By God, I've been seeing that number since 1989. Fact number eight, I've got OCD. Although I did not know this until somebody pointed it out to me. I think the clue is in the fact that I've got all my DVDs in alphabetical order. And my CDs. And my videos. No, VHS. Fact number nine. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I collect comic books. And I've just recently counted them. I have 4,700. That I have been collecting since 1991. Number ten. I crack a lot of bones. <clears throat> my knees. I'm back up again. Number 11, my little fingers are bent. Oh. Number 12, I went to Los Angeles all by myself in 2012. Regular viewers know this, right? Number 13, I'm allergic to pineapple. My throat closes up. Which isn't fair because I like pineapple juice. <laughs> Number 14, I've been writing since I was 10 years old. I've yet to finish a novel. Might have something to do with me being lazy. Or procrastinating. Number 15, I've never ever been in love. I love my friends, I love my family, just not being in love. Unless you count my comic books and DVDs. Number 16, my favourite film of all time is Jurassic Park. But if you've been watching long enough, you should know that. Number 17, my favourite television show of all time is Friends. And you should know that if you saw me going to LA. Because I got to go on the Friends set. <laughs> Number 18, my favourite music artist is Enigma. What do you mean, who? I'm pretty sure you'll have heard his music at some point. Just Google it. Number 19. I used to have really long hair. Here's a picture. Stop laughing. Number 20. I have run five marathons. Great Yorkshire Run 2007. Sheffield Half Marathon 2008. That was 30 miles. Lincoln 10K 2008. Great Yorkshire Run 2008. And Great Yorkshire Run 2009. I know, I know, it looks like I've been in pie marathons. Number 21, I don't like spicy food at all. Curries, chili, ugh, ugh, I don't like it. Number 22, one of my favourite cities in the world is Edinburgh. 
My first time there was, well actually I was 8 years old but I can't remember it at that age. But I did go in the year 2000 and I fell instantly in love with it. Number 23, I swear, a lot. The F word, the W word, the B word, the S word. I don't like using the C word though, not often. I just don't do it on my videos. Number 24, I have a great sense of adventure. I mean, come on, I went to Los Angeles all by myself. And finally, number 25, my quote in life. And you can't use it. If I see any of you using it, well, then I know it's caught on. The quote is, crazy people exist to counterbalance the universe. And you're probably going, huh? Basically what I'm saying is that crazy people, such as myself, help balance out the universe. You see, on the one side of the scale, you've got all these sane people. And if everybody was sane, it'd be like this. And the universe would just implode. But because there are a lot of crazy people, it counterbalances it. So essentially people like myself save the universe. You're welcome. I've got a feeling this video has gone on way too long, so I'm going to quickly say, just check out my other videos at the side of me, like Smeg Chris, Smeg Chris Review and my vlogs. And also down here you can click on Facebook and Twitter by clicking those links below. And also there's a subscribe button down there if you'd like to keep watching this channel. I'm going to go. Until the next time, peace out. So us crazy folk are there to keep it balanced. I just farted, didn't I?